Okay, this video is going to go through looking at decay equations for alpha and beta decay. So we're looking at what happens to elements if we give out an alpha particle or if we give out a beta particle. So first off, if we look at an alpha particle, we look at what it is. It is made up of two protons and two neutrons. Okay, so when I think about what would the mass number and the atomic number be for this? So if we start with the atomic number, so we know that that is the number of protons, okay? And that's the bottom number on our um, on our uh, element on our periodic table. So if we know we've got two protons, okay, then we know our atomic number, okay? It's going to be two. So our atomic number is two. And if we think now to our mass number. So our mass number is our protons and our neutrons, and you add them together. So two add two gives us a total mass number of four. So alpha has got a mass of four and an atomic number of two. So when we give out an alpha particle, if we say something like uranium that starts with an atomic mass of 238, and it gives out four from its mass, I think what's its mass going to be? And it's like one of those really simple maths equations you do when you're in year three. If we start off with a 238 apples and we lose four, or we give away four, or we sell four, how many have we got left? Okay, 238 minus four, you've got to think what that will be. 92, uh, so we start with 92 oranges, okay, just like our atomic number is 92, and we give out two oranges, just like we've given out two protons, how many oranges do we have left? So it's just like thinking, you know, normal, really, really simple maths. This is really quite simple. There's nothing complicated about this at all. So if we have a look at what's actually happening then. So if we take our uranium atom, okay, it looks something a little bit like this. It's got 92 protons and 146 neutrons to give a total mass of 238. And we want to look at what happens if we give out an alpha particle. So we, are, we have four mass, so two protons, two neutrons, in the nucleus, which are given out. Okay, so they are kicked out of the nucleus. Because the nucleus is too heavy, we kick out this alpha particle and it makes it a little bit lighter. So we want to look at what happens to the protons and neutrons. So we've no longer got 92 protons in the nucleus. We've taken away two, haven't we? So we've now got 90. And we've no longer got 146 neutrons, we've actually now got 144, because we've kicked out two of those as well. So our total mass, 90 out of 144, is no longer 238. Okay, we've taken off four altogether, so it's now 234. And our proton number, our atomic number, has gone from 90 to 92, sorry, to 90. So if we look up here at the top, we're going to show you how we complete a decay equation. So we show, we do a little arrow, and we say we are giving out an alpha particle. We just draw an A, you want to draw some little squiggly bits on, we don't worry too much about that. And we said already our alpha particle has a mass of 4 and an atomic number of 2. And we're going to give out as well some element that we've got. Now I don't know what element this is and I'm not going to bother looking on my periodic table. Now later on when you're doing this you might do that as a bit of an extension, see if you can find what elements these are. But if I don't know I'm just going to call it element x. Okay and I just want to put how, what's its mass and what's its atomic number. So because we've taken off four, okay, its atomic mass is now going to be 234 and its atomic number is going to be 90 because we've lost two protons. Oops, sorry, 90. So you're going to end up with an equation that looks like this. This is a decay equation. Okay, so we show what we started with. So this is our thing we started with. Oh, sorry, pen's not working very well there. So we started with that. Okay, then we show. Right, what have we given out? Okay, so that is our um, radioactive particle. Okay, and then we go, what have we got at the end? That is our product. 
Okay, so we've made a new element. We've got a completely different element. So looking at this as an equation then, I want you to copy and complete this in your book. So if your teacher can just pause the video for a few minutes and I want you to write what's happened to the mass number and what has happened to the atomic number. Okay, so pause it now, write everything that you see on the board and uh, including mass number decreases by how much and atomic number decreases by how much and can you try and tell me as a bit of an extension why did this happen so pause now and then start back in a couple of minutes okay so hopefully you should have done that and we should have got that the mass number decreases by four and the atomic number decreases by two so this time I've put what element it is okay so I've put the it creates thorium but it doesn't matter that it is that Okay, as long as we know that it gives out an alpha particle and we know what happens to the numbers. So let's have a look at another quick example. So again, I'd like you to have a go at this to complete this decay equation. Okay, and if you can, a bit of an extension, get your planners out and have a look what is the element. Okay, so have a go at this in your books again. So pause the video again now. Okay, and when you're ready, you can, should be starting again now. So we've got here um, a different element okay and it's given out an alpha particle again so we want to think what has happened to the numbers so because we've given out an alpha particle remember we said before the atomic mass goes down by four it decreases by four so we start with two 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 okay so we do two 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 take away four up at the top And that will give us so 222 take away 4 is 218 okay so that will go here at the top and at the bottom we take away 2 so we're going to do 86 take away 2 equals 84 so we're going to have 84 in this bottom number here so and that would be a completed alpha particle decay equation Okay, moving on then. Let's have a look at beta. So beta is different. Beta happens when a neutron turns into a proton. So alpha generally happens when the element's too heavy. Beta happens when we've got too many neutrons. Think about how this would affect the mass and atomic number. So if a neutron turns into a proton and we kick out our electron, which we should know from last time, uh, this electron that we're giving out here. Okay, so this that is our beta particle that's what we actually detect as the beta particle so a neutron turns into a proton so they both have the same mass so the mass number doesn't change but if we've turned a neutron into a proton we've now got one more proton than we had before so the atomic number should change okay and we'll have a look at what happens with that now so if we have a look at a different example we've got carbon 14 okay we start off with six protons eight neutrons and a total of 14 altogether now what happens with this is one of the neutrons so we'll take this one here it no longer is a neutron anymore okay so that becomes a proton so we get rid of the neutron and it becomes a proton and we kick out an electron okay which we would uh, call a beta particle so it looks a little bit like that and a beta is an electron it's got a mass of zero and a charge of minus one okay and we want to know what else is given out there so we've given out that beta particle we turned our neutron into a proton so we've no longer got eight neutrons we've now got seven and we've no longer got six protons we've now got seven of those as well because we turned one proton sorry one neutron into a proton now the total stays the same because 6 add 8 is 14 and 7 add 7 is 14 but now we've got a different element so again we don't know what the element is yet so we'll just put an x and I'll work out what I've got so I've got seven protons so that's going to be my bottom number and my mass is 14 so if we're completing this equation we've got carbon 14 goes to x with a mass of 14 and a, uh, a prominent number of 7 plus a beta particle which has got a mass of 0 and a charge of minus 1 
Now these add up again, so 14 add 0 is 14, and 7 add minus 1 gives us 6, Is adding minus 1 is like taking away 1. So, um, this shows us what happens with a beta particle, so our mass hasn't changed, so our mass stays the same, and our atomic number increases by 1 this time, it goes up by 1. Okay, so again, I'd like you to copy and complete this in your book. So we've got the full equation in the middle and I want you to complete what happened to the mass number and what happened to the atomic number. So you write these above and below. If you can, as an extension, why does this happen? What is a beta particle and how is it produced? So what is actually happening? And we talked about back here, the neutron turning into a proton and giving out an electron. So again, pause the video, write this all down. Okay, and when we're ready, we can start again. So have a go now. Hopefully we've got on this one, sorry, before we start the next bit. Uh, we've got on this that the mass number stays the same and the atomic number increases by one. So you should have written those down. And if you said why this happens, it's because a neutron is turning into a proton and the beta particle is an electron. So let's have a go at another one of these. And so can you work out what this is going to turn into? So again, pause the video and have a go at this. Okay, so we've said for this that the uh, mass number stays the same because we're not changing. We're only turning one thing into another, but they both have the same mass. So our mass number is still going to be 20. And our atomic number goes up by one <coughs> because it's um, turn, you're going to gain a proton because you're turning one neutron into one proton. So our atomic number is now going to be 10. And again, we can check this. We can add them up because they should add up on both sides. So 20 add zero is 20. 10 add minus one is nine. Okay, so that works. Right, I want you to have a go at some of these in your books now. So I've given this up here as an example. This is what they should all look like in your books. So you should start with the thing at the start, goes to X and then put your two numbers, plus is it either an alpha or a beta particle. Now, a bit of an extra thing for gamma. Now, let's say for example, um, let's just do one quickly for gamma. If I had... Uh, let's say I've got, um, let's go to carbon 14 again. So carbon 14 and 6. If that gave out a gamma, gamma ray, okay, I'm not very good at drawing gamma, okay, what would happen? Now with gamma, it's got a mass of zero and a charge of zero. So think about what would happen. Nothing would happen. So it would still be carbon 14 and 6. So if you do gamma, it just wants to show that the mass doesn't change and neither does the atomic number. Okay, so have a go now at these in your books. Um, I'm not sure if you've got the sheets for this or not. If you have, your teacher should give you the sheets to do this uh, with. But can you still, don't write on the sheet because there's just not space. Can you write them out in your books properly, please? So all these first column, you're going to do alpha decay. So you're going to do one, two, three, four, five. And these are all going to be uh, this thing goes to X, put your numbers, and then plus alpha. And you're going to be taking off four off the top, taking two off the bottom. The second set, you're going to be beta. So you're going to keep the top number the same, and the bottom number is going to go up by one. And the extension, I want you to tell me what type of decay is this. Is it alpha, beta, or gamma? And how can you tell? Okay, so hopefully it should be okay with that. Um, obviously, feel free to go back in the video if you need to for anything. I'll hopefully see you soon.